Hello, hello, and welcome to the End Times CCG. And today I want to show you what I was doing lately. And um, we'll go over some great card frames and what I'm working right now on. And I will show you what I was looking at Magic, Flesh and Blood, and the World of Warcraft TCG. And also. Sigmar's priest from um, how do you say Warhammer? Warhammer, yes. I mean, imagine you could play a battle monk equipped with two battle hammers, and this is what I wanted to show you. Um, I have a few new things that I added this week. I have a list of games and a list of cards I want to look at, and here I was looking at Constantine and I thought, man, what if you can have like a holy shotgun? I mean, like if you're new, end times is I'm planning to bring together um, in these times, like in Highlander, fantasy heroes, but also heroes from this time, like vampire hunters. And um, what if you could play a holy shotgun? And we will come to that point later where I am truly a fan of the hero system like in Flesh and Blood or um, in World of Warcraft and in Magic the Gathering you have like, um, I don't have a, um, a Planeswalker here but let's say this w would be a Planeswalker like mechanics are kind of similar like here this is your hero, this is your hero, he has the life down here he has an ability, he has an ability, the Planeswalker I like very much that he has many abilities and this I want to combine and distill into what I'm doing. And so in World of Warcraft I have the feeling like you have too many equipments, oh, but maybe I'm also wrong because this is over the years and over the sets. And here you have very little like distinct um, heroes and hero weapons and I lo love this very much but I would love to see more variety and you will say yeah when it comes out. but it's not the same like here really it matters your hero you have Katsu it's the only ninja right now or one of the few you have Ira and others but it matters and then there's just a couple of swords and that's that's really cool that they keep it so tight but I want more and here you, you see the the hero and you don't see the weapon he wields because he can wield any weapon so they don't want to destroy the illusion and that's really cool but I love this artwork also that you can see this is a badass, badass hero and she has a weapon like I love this. I, I, I wanted to see or I would prefer to see a hero with a weapon and then you can equip it with a weapon you like, like with something like this. And that's also totally cool. We will go into this and as you can see this one summons Alice and I want to go down this ro route or route or road because here it's 1v1 and here is you're the hero and you summon Alice. and I want to have this for the end times TCG just it has a different flavor um, and here you have the holy shotgun from Constantine um, you can't see much but this is like a golden gun with pretty hardcore shells that burn you have here um, you can holy knuckles or what if you yeah can can play a hero that's like John Constantine or what if you have um, a hero like from Gladiator like Maximus like an uh, honorable man and then the question is how can these people all meet and maybe it's through 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 time travel through a portal through something that the government ripped a hole into reality and now um, these people always knew there was some dark things going on and these people are thrown into this time and yeah and then I had the idea how cool would it be if you could play something like a priest with two hammers or a shotgun and a hammer <laughs> and yeah, it's keep growing like a RPG. And here I was 
not kind uh kind of not really into my thing because i thought maybe maybe it's not good enough but then i watched doom patrol and these characters are, seem really out of place but they work the characters so that the reality works like you really care for these people or guardians of the galaxy like it's a it's a bunch of people thrown together but they have character and so if you think we're we have like the 90s and now this priest is coming to this town or um, he's a priest and he knows about stuff and then dark things come up and he's waited for them and then like you can have McDonald's in here or uh, discotheques or, or, or a normal car sa sales and this guy hunting down demons yeah and that's what I was doing and here you can see I was working on some card frames. I wanted to make it big because I was thinking how thick has this to be. And you know, I don't have all the mechanics, but I'm just unraveling them. And I decided to go 2.5 for the black border, like Flesh and Blood, World of Warcraft TCG. I've seen a lot of other TCGs and they have not the classical black border, but I want it. I want this to be a game you can pick up and and play and i want it to be a bit like magic and the world of warcraft tcg and you can say okay this is all old mechanics but i want it to be also a bit like flesh and blood and i'm not stealing i'm just distilling the things i think the game needs and then putting it in a setting i really like and love and see that it's not yet served because you don't have strippers and hookers and bikers and uh, fighting evils from the government facility that came through a time ripple like that 80s 90s movie or tv show i will create in this game and you can see i was planning to draw this out and i think the title is maybe lame <laughs> but i maybe will improve on that but you see i've picked already fonts like diablo or hyborian gates and um I want I, I saw some things that have life here or here but I want to be really classic like really intuitive you should know that life is down here and then I was looking at where where are the artists and and here you can't you cannot read who's the artist artist Todd Lockwood is a is a hero for, of mine and here it's also pretty small but I like the magic frame and these things I was taking care of and this is what I was saying like more heroes I want, but not too many, that they become irrelevant. Um, and equipment... Uh, and equipment? And in Flesh and Blood, doesn't make sense. But I think Flesh and Blood ha has right now, for my taste, too little weapon wa variety and hero variety. But also not as much as in the World of Warcraft TCG. And here I was checking out Path of Exile and the gear and how you use the skills and i think this is a cool thing because like this is from uh, the moba genre and you're using skills and and the, the that genre took it from the arpg or i don't know where or nox had it and then shields what if you could play a character with two shields and could you attack with a character with two shields and in hard food war machine there is a character that can do that in grim dawn and so this is what flesh and blood kind of did you have the head you have the body you have the the boots and this is where i was looking at the dragon ball dragonborn tcg and yeah let's wrap this up soon and here i was thinking about um what if you where are the guns how do you use them can you have they does a weapon have durability um, can you block with a weapon and if you can block with a weapon how much does it cost you does it cost you like durability or does it cost you do you have to exhaust something um, can everybody use this like in Diablo or in other games that you need certain requirements like strength dexter dexterity or is this only for certain classes and this I have to s see where this goes and yeah here i was 
doing another cardboard. Um, I, I plan to draw in the, into these and then to show you my design. Um, and this is the new classic Grimdark TCG. Like I know Flesh and Blood is the new classic TCG and I love it that they do that. That's totally um, legit. But I want this to be the new Grimdark Pulp TCG. I should add the pulp. <laughs> um, and this is uh, the steps. Like I don't want to invent something new. I want to improve on the old and lost. This is really, really important because I think we lost something when the WoW TCG became Hearthstone. It became a bit better and a bit worse because like people are now online, but I love that people could make these decks and play from face to face. And you can say, yeah, okay, we, we now have flesh and blood, but this is WoW TCG and it's amazing. Like the artwork is just amazing. Look at this. And I and I love and I love this world. I lo I love it, and it's really great. There's some really great artwork, and other games have it too, and Magic has it too. But yeah, I have my own head, um, and I want everybody to pick it up and to play it intuitively. And that's a great quality. But it will not be for everybody. It will just be for the people who love grim, dark fantasy and pulp fiction it's it's a strange mix but it is what it is and here i will look into these games again to distill what i like and this is the last page i guess i will show you yes and here is like um just equipment and what if you have two shields mm, that's kind of the durability and then do they have an attack value or don't they have an attack value and if you can attack with these like i mean you could attack with a shield you, you take a shield and you ram it in the face of your opponent but how much does it cost and is this a heavy piece of junk and how much strength does it carry and if you put a shield on does it cost you minus endurance like I want this game to be like a, 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 like a darkest dungeon like everything you use has also drawbacks that's what I love about um, flesh and blood like if you have here armor pieces like they, they, they just block for one and here they block for five or six and they don't really break so there's there's good in this and good in this and, and things I think could be improved in both and here I was thinking about um, pay to endurance block one damage like he pays to endurance he holds the shield up and he blocks one or, or, or he gives him one but if you pay for like a stronger attack or a stronger block it deals more damage or blocks more damage. It gives you, it gives you a bit of leeway to 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 not just do one generic thing, but to do what you need to do. And that's cool. That's that's a thing I will, yeah, definitely put in. And here you have a bow classic, like in Diablo, Path of Exile, and maybe also in these games they have it too. But I was I was thinking, do they have like do they cost nothing, but you need the, the, the strength requirement or do you need them to buy them with resources or to put them out in the field? And then how much attack value does a bow have or do you need just the arrows or how does it work? I will figure it out. I will keep it simple. Um, but this is what I, I'm always thinking, like what are the resources? Is it like classic, uh, you, you put on a land or you put down a card face down or a quest and um, gather a resource. I will not do it like Flesh and Blood because they invented the pitching mechanic and it's um, it's amazing and they own it. <laughs> and I want to do it also in a classic way. Like um, either your hero has uh, resources, intrinsic, like he has, f let's say, six, six action points and then you use them or he has a uh, hand size he will draw um, but I also like to put things down and to show okay he used three resources or a dice or we'll see and then I was just putting down I want a swords um, how does it work uh, the attack value down here um, the activation cost or the durability how much strength does this need what does it do I don't want to put out too many things too many weapons but I think it would 
it would be cool if you have a great variety of weapons and heroes but first i will i plan to start small and then it's uh, could 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 your um archer use the wizard stuff and i think you could you maybe could but she needs a certain intelligence to carry this and maybe the mages uh, have better stats to to carry this wizard stuff like i have to look into it well this was what i wanted to say I will say that um, when I when I close this, I like I like putting down lands or resources. I do. Um, I plan to make this like um, resources in a new time, like um, Timmy's taco or something like this. And then what I also like is um, I will show you in a second. I I do like this. Um, World of Warcraft heroes and I like the Planeswalker I think they they have great mechanics and I like that you can flip them but once you flip them they're like um, they have used up their ultimate same in the in the Planeswalker but I would like to to make it a bit different you will see and these are some of the some of the equipments and I have to say it's really cool. Like I love, I love this stuff. We will go into this a bit later, and in depth, I will show you every TCG I have, and what I think about them. And yeah, we we'll see us next time. And stay mighty and powerful. See ya.